When former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown made his bid to return to Washington by way of New Hampshire, Democrats pounced, calling Brown a carpetbagger. People of New Hampshire, the more they know about Scott Brown, the less they like him. Now that carpetbagger insult is being hurled the other way, as Democrats have not one, but two candidates running for Congress with tenuous ties to the 1st Congressional District. Levy Sanders, son of Bernie, just joined the race from across the state in Claremont. Maura Sullivan only lived in New Hampshire for about three months before launching her campaign, and as News 9 first reported in October of last year, she was considered a possible candidate for Congress in her home state of Illinois. Both have to really identify how they're going to speak to voters in the first CD in a way that's, that's, that sounds like they're one of them. For Sanders, the name and even the voice sound somewhat familiar. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer, and the middle class is being squeezed. St. Anselm College professor Chris Galdieri believes Sanders will have a difficult time making his case. He doesn't even seem to have, you know, the enthusiastic support of his father's organization. Sullivan leads the field in fundraising, but Galdieri, who's writing a book on carpet bagging, urges caution. Voters can be turned off by someone who comes in and looks like they're trying to buy a nomination. Even so, local experts say there is a plausible path to victory for both Sanders and Sullivan. What would have been forbidden years ago, the carpet bagger, um, uh, you're willing to entertain that now if it gives you the likelihood a good chance of winning. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.